Hello, welcome to another Eagle Six test video. Uh, we're gonna be uh, testing this customer's uh, build that we finished. Um, it's uh, a Tecumari Scar L, uh, next generation recoil shock. And um, he uh, wanted uh, to keep it relatively simple, uh, to just uh, rebuild it uh, and essentially get the power up and a little bit more range. Um, so, but uh, uh, obviously the rebuild, you know, the full rebuild anyway, is a, a, little, bit of a little bit of a costly endeavor. So um, uh, we highly recommended, um, you know, while we're in there just to, you know, um, uh, stick a couple of extra bits in there. So, uh, so we've done the uh, uh, Dean's mod, um, where we just basically uh, uh, defuse and then run a small extension wire uh, in the stock here. Uh, and then obviously put the Dean's onto the end of it, retaining the uh, the fuse assembly, uh, albeit now empty, um, and it keeps all the wiring in place. And um, uh, we installed a gate titan basic as well. So um, uh, uh, for those uh, wanting to know about the scars, we always install the front wired one. So um, uh, just keep it basically the same as the thing. It always goes out the front and then goes backwards uh, after that. Uh, so um, um, it's just, uh, uh, it's how we do it. Uh, we always just copy the, uh, the standard uh, TM wiring harness. Um, and uh, yeah, so we've got uh, uh, with level one, it's the upgraded power spring. So we, uh, we've got up to 342 on twos and 254 on 32s. And we've also um, got the uh, Firefly Hop Rubber, which gives slightly better groupings, uh, um, uh, a range that over, over stock uh, for the customer. And we've also got the Prometheus Flat Nub, uh, just to give a bit more lift. Um, uh, so, so you have to have a, a little less hop setting in order to lift those heavier ammos. Um, and, uh, and overall, um, it just gives an improved performance over stock, uh, which is uh, what we're after. Um, uh, we're going to test in a minute, and you obviously see performance uh, uh, is going to be really, really good uh, on um, uh, just you know basically just with our, our full rebuild um, and the stock obviously performance uh, uh, combined with obviously the gate. Um, I think you'll find that the trigger response and rate of fire is fantastic. So um, uh, and and overall, not not huge monies if you know what I mean uh, in order to, to get to that. Um, so so we'll do the uh, uh, test now just to make sure everything's working. Trigger response is, you know, great, fantastic uh, uh, in terms of single shot. So. Uh, and as you can see there, uh, I've stopped TM motors, stopped TM gears, uh, just just rebuilt, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, our way, and then. Um, um, you know, uh, some hot rubber changes uh, and a gate, uh, basic, fantastic, fantastic trigger response. And uh, uh, um, uh, this is just on a 7.4 1300. So uh, not even the biggest batch you can get in there. and anyone would be happy with that. Um, uh, just to talk a little bit about other things, um, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, about this build. Oh, oh we also put the uh, Lalax uh, uh, shortened um, charge handle on there. So I just thought I'd demonstrate that. Um, so yeah, the um, why doesn't everyone then, if this is fantastic and great performance and excellent like this, uh, uh, why does everyone go for the, you know, massive level 10 builds? Um, Obviously, you've got that X factor of, of, of you're still on the stock TM parts, uh, and they are um, uh, 
you know, a consumable item. Technically, the aftermarket ones are consumable items as well. Um, so obviously, the, the the gray area is 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 how long would it last? You know, so obviously everything's now going quicker, faster, operating harder. Um, you know, it's been rebuilt. Um, you know, so we've got rid of X factors uh, from the manufacturing process. You know, like a, a QC issues. Uh, um, random bits floating around the gearbox um, but that's not to say you don't go out uh, you know have a particularly dirty day or whatever and get a small piece of debris in there you know so um, uh, it is possible just from using these things um, you know uh, that, that it's just ultimately the the, the, the problem with um, uh, them not just being wall hangers uh, um, so and obviously the more they get used the more potential there is of, of increased you know uh, something go wrong um, uh, the concept of fitting the more expensive parts and why we put what we've done at the beginning is that um, they're the most cost effective most visibly gaining items for for for, um, for the money um, we don't put the strength stuff right at the beginning because you don't tangibly see that you know straight away so so we always do the the things like the, the accuracy stuff the range stuff you know the increased fps it's the reason why we then try and obviously eventually you know you sort of go from level four level five level six that kind of thing is is because in theory the more you creep up you're more you're potentially adding in smaller tangible you know less tangible stuff you know less obvious stuff um but it is adding to it you know so so uh, like i say like the gears you know you don't necessarily see them um you know uh, and you don't see anything visibly gained from that but you know now that they're incredibly strong and will last for a very very long time um you know the bearings are, are, are very strong and they'll last for a very very long time and they're quicker moving you know so they've maybe get even quicker rate of fire than this current one um uh, you know with the um, uh, cylinder head you know that it's no longer plastic you know so so uh, in its anodized um, uh, uh, you know um, uh, metal so that it's now going to get um, uh, potentially not going to you know break or deform you know because it's plastic you know so one day it just starts things like just getting wobbly and loose because it's generating play uh, because it's now a stronger material uh, it's anodized material so so in theory maybe your air nozzle now reciprocates better because it's, it's anodized you know um, you know uh, uh, is you could just keep going through all the different you know parts like that they're marginal gains and, and ultimately it's only you know you guys the customers all we can do is kind of like you know be clear non-biased and transparent about what these things actually do you know and, and do gain for you and and yes they're expensive but technically they gain you know for you so so who's to say that they aren't you know that, that they're certainly they're certainly 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 not uh, are pointless like some people say on forums and stuff you know they they do give you something it's just you know people's opinions on whether it's you know uh, big gains little gains worth it not worth it so um uh, but yes the concept is the more you sort of uh, uh, add to it with these strengthened aftermarket cnc produced um, the, the more you're moving away from a gun which is manufactured by a manufacturer for a price point um deliberately trying to keep it at said price point yeah so um it's, it's like expecting a, a mclaren f1 race car you know from uh, a ford main dealer you know um uh, from ford direct you know just that's it's just a basic ford you know that they're, they're trying to make that ford focus just an example for for a price point you know so so they they know that they want to sell it at this you know it has to cost this so that they can make this and the dealers can make that so uh, and it's the same with 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 Kyma. it's the same with tm um you know something has to be sacrificed you can't have two identical things but one cost you know uh, uh, t you know uh, 20 us dollars and another one cost you know 300 us dollars to make and be the same yeah so something has to give somewhere whether that's uh, um, manufacturing guaranteeing that, that all 10,000 parts are identical um, because we've seen lemons even in the TM so granted it's one in 100 yeah but uh, and not maybe five out of ten like a like a Kyma but it's still there yeah so so and, and uh, obviously the benefit of us rebuilding these things is that we do catch them uh, and we did catch one the other week so um, uh, uh, that was a, a, a corker so um, so yeah it's uh, the, the concept is is that um, you, you upgrade these parts put these bigger bits in uh, stronger bits and, and and yeah you like I say you do get some sort of gain whether it's a, a, an efficiency gain whether it's a small fps gain whether it's a strength gain uh, so that it's now stronger physically than, than the previous component um, uh, and like i say it's not to say that it isn't doing something it's just smaller so um so but uh, but that's in theory why you sort of go up uh, 
uh, you know, the, the different packages. Um, uh, we really like our level four just because it's uh, it's right in the middle there without going to, to sort of, you know, the, the extremes, if you know what I mean, of, of, of the level tens. Um, but um, uh, but obviously still gaining that, uh, fixing the majority of the sort of weakest part, which is obviously the gears over time, uh, they just naturally wear. Uh, and, uh, uh, and obviously that fixes that on level four. And uh, um, yeah, so, so it's a really good one that people sort of go for. So, but uh, but yeah, I'm waffling. So uh, so I hope this explained a little bit more about obviously the the higher end packages, lower end packages, um, and uh, and it, obviously you know this one being just fantastic performance in terms of, of thing, it does make you wonder well why you know. Uh, and like I say, it's because some of those higher up parts are just less tangible, less obvious than what they're giving. So um, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean they're less, you know, or, or not as important. It's just um, uh, that's why we put them at the higher spectrum, just because, you know, like I say, you get the biggest bang for buck uh, for this. Um, but, uh, but anyway, I've waffled on uh, long enough. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the gun uh, and uh, it's a very nice build, very nice gun. And uh, uh, I'll be back with you soon. Thank you very much.